Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to be fixing the jump so that we can't turn mid-air and then on top of that we will be adding hard landings to our animations Okay, so the first step is a really simple one so how we stop character from turning mid jump is just uh, we add another branch here and then inside of the character movement there is a is falling variable and then we just use this to decide to, if to turn the turn system on or off. So if we're not falling, we we can turn. So that means whenever we're jumping, we won't be able to twist and turn really unnaturally. I will just see. So now he jumps in the direction that he's jumping at at the moment you press the jump. And with the turning system, it meets really nicely, so it's really reactive. As soon as he lands, he starts going the way that you put it. So before we continue to add the hard landing system, just want to let everyone know that uh, in the link in the description will be a link to the Google Drive that usually holds the project people to just start from this video, but also separately will. Be this uh, Mixamo file where I've set up a retargeter for Mixamo to UE5 and it'll have this uh, hard landing animation in. And to just quickly go through the retargeter, something that you have to do with this because our character is a lot shorter than the usual mannequin. It means that you have to pose, you have to go up here, you've got to edit pose on our mannequin to kind of make it work properly. So there's a lot of trial and error with uh, retargeting animations. So he's leaning forward here because the character we're using is shorter, his hands weren't touching the ground when he did the hard landing is all. But yeah, and then you can see the retarget is all set up. Um, I would go through how to do it, but it's very long-winded. And the tutorial I found for it was very useful because it shows you how to uh, introduce the IK. So I'm going to link that now just because I don't want to take away from the guy who made that tutorial. So if you want to learn how to make this retarget and set it all up uh just follow that video okay so uh to start off on this hard landing the first thing we're going to do is implement the code that's going to set the hard landing off to start so first we're going to drag this whole block somewhere better so we can make some more space and at the end of this series i am going to have a video that specifically looks at cleaning this all up because it's very messy so what we want is we want to add a sequence here so that we can get another track and when we clean this up we'll be making sure it's not the event tick that's uh input in this code because if you have too many things running from the event tick it will severely slow down the game so the first thing we want we want a branch on this variable because we only want this piece of code to run when we've stopped falling so we don't want that now anymore True. 
and how we want to uh, find out if we're going to do a hard landing. After we've jumped, we want to figure out if the distance we've jumped is long enough for them to need to do a hard landing. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to make a variable called jump z star. And we're going to set this from whenever we jump. And the jump z star is going to be our world location of our mesh. Or at least the z. So if we right click here, split the structs, and then put that in there. That's our first variable. And then we want to compare that with uh, the world location in the Z once we land. So So if we get this and we subtract it from our jump Z start and get an absolute value. This will give us a positive value of how high or low we have jumped. And it will be very rare that we're able to jump up high enough that it would um, give a strange hard landing for the opposite direction. So we don't need to worry about that. And so from here, we can create a variable called distance traveled. And then we just need to plug in another branch. that if distance traveled is over a certain amount, it will give us a hard landing. So I found 190 to be a good value. And from there, we'll just do a print string to test it. If this is true, For about five seconds, I will make it red. And then now we can test if this bit of code works. There you go. See, so now whenever we land from a distance that's uh, greater than 190, it should do a hard landing. Now we can go into the animation blueprint and uh, get it work, get the actual animation implemented. Okay, so inside of our animation blueprint, the first thing that we're going to do is that we're gonna utilize this uh, turning boolean again, because we're using it to turn off the IK. So because it's we can use it for more than just when we're turning. We can change the name. To disable IK. Brilliant. But then we're also going to add a new boolean called hard landing. And then, so from that side here, we want to click on our animation graph and go into our main states. And what we're doing is we want a different direction to go. So instead of landing, we want to do a hard landing. So here we'll add a state that we'll call hard landing. 
And so we want it to have the same condition as this, but a little bit different because we want it to do it when we're falling and if our hard landing is true. Which means so now, look at this, and if we type in, it's the hard landing retargeting three. If you're just using the UE5 uh, mannequin, the hard landing retargeting one is better, but the three has been edited to work with our character. And then from there. So we don't want to be copying this because this means that if we're if you're moving when you're doing a hard landing it will just cut out and we don't want that but this just the automatic seems pretty good we just take this we'll we'll see if this needs to change and then so that's our animation graph set up but there's a few things inside of the animation that need editing. That, well, I've already added them in. And then we added in in this animation. So what we're doing here is first off, I grab the root. And if you move any of your bones around like this and then press key, it will add that transformation into the animation and edit it. So I'll just undo that. So the reason why I did this with the root was because the feet were floating slightly above the ground. So I lowered them a little bit so that that didn't happen. And then we have a disable IK notify, an enable IK notify, and a hard landing. And just to show you, to make those, we right click on this notify track, we go add notify, new notify, and it will make a skeleton notifier. And as you can see, all the ones that have been created live in here. And this is good for like adding sound effects and stuff like that. So like when, I, when the feet go down, we can add a sound so that the sound occurs at the right time. And just any kind of, if you want an event to happen at a certain time in an animation, that's what these notifiers are for. But now going back into our animation blueprint, we need to call on these notifiers to actually make them do something. So if we go into our event graph, go anim. So we want disable. Enable and then our hard landing being over. So, as we can see here, this is just gonna do what we need to do with all our animations that can't use IK and turn off the IK for the duration of the animation and then this will make sense in a minute but at the end of our animation we want to turn hard landing off so that if we jump again it will automatically do a hard landing and then that should be everything in here now all we need to do is go back into our blueprint and here we need to get our animation graph and we're going to set that hard landing 
to true. So that if this box true, where where otherwise we would have put that uh, string, we'll take the condition that lets us do a hard landing. Now this should work apart from the fact that I think we'll be able to move while we're doing a hard landing, which it isn't what we want. So I'll just show you that we have the animation working. Yeah, but if we were to move while we were doing that, we would have slid around the floor. So I'll just quickly do it again. Yeah. So with that, all we want to do is Add a branch to both of our movement inputs, and then we just want to get this hard landing value. And then not. So then here, if we are not doing a hard landing, just move as normal. But while we are, don't do it. So now we'll give that one final test. Yeah, we do hard landing, and then once it's over, we can move around again. Right, brilliant. So now we've fixed up our jumping so that we can't do any unrealistic movements, and we've also added a hard landing system. So that's it for this video. I think we're only going to do maybe one or possibly two more episodes in this series for now. I think I'm going to try and tackle a climbing system, not one where you can shimmy on ledges that may come at a later date but just for now say if i wanted to jump up here he would grab onto the ledge and force himself up right thank you for listening